So now I'm gonna do this example. Okay. And this is gonna become this is gonna become an example that we're gonna see a lot, uh, or examples like this. So the question is how to simplify the expression 4x times 2x minus 3. So here we have, of course, this will be this will correspond to our a. Okay. And then the 2x will correspond to our b. The negative 3 will correspond to our c. And we know that um, a times b plus c is going to equal to ab plus ac. So that's going to equal 4x, right, times the b, which is 2x, plus the a, which is 4x, right, times the c, which will be a negative 3. Now, by the way, I want to make a point about that right now real quickly here. You might say, well, David, how is it that it's minus 3 in the, B o in the C over there? And it's because if we look at our distributive law, it's written as A times B plus C. So here I have 2X minus 3. 2X minus 3 is the same thing as 2X plus negative 3. And so that's why I'm saying here that the C is negative 3. Okay. okay. Let us continue now. Okay. okay. So now what I want to analyze here, I'm going to bring down this right-hand side over here to analyze it further. Okay. So 4x times 2x plus 4x times negative 3. Okay. Now here, I can multiply the numbers. So negative 4 times 2, which is 8. And I'm going to have x times x. Okay, I'm going to write that down like this just temporarily. And then here, I'm going to have 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. So I'm going to have plus negative 12. So uh, let me write this down, I guess. Negative 12 x. Okay. So now I want to now we want to recall this notation here x x times x. Well, we remember that exponentiation means that if I have x to the n, that means x times dot 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 dot, dot times x n copies of x being multiplied together. So here I have two copies, so my n would be two, and my uh, and uh, what's being multiplied is x. So I can rewrite this as 8x squared, and then a plus minus becomes minus 12x. And so we can conclude that 4x times 2x minus 3 becomes 8x squared minus 12x. And we're going to see a lot of examples like this um, throughout the course of, al of algebra. Yes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this example, and I'll see you again soon.